Hey, good day to you. Today we're going to do a DIY of a window overlay, uh, sticky film on your on your window. And although it seemed like this would be a really easy project, uh, there's a lot to it. You have to measure and, and you'll see uh, the steps that I have to go through. The, the final project, the final product really looks good though. So enjoy. And if you like this, this video, please subscribe, uh, like it and subscribe and press the notification to get notifications on other DIY videos. Thanks. Bye. So we are going to be looking at this window in the bathroom. As you can see, uh, it is a big old window in our bathroom. And what, what builder decided that that would be a good idea? Right? So you can see through it, <clears throat> even with the shades in place. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put some window film on the on the the window and i'm going to show you how to do that you're going to follow along with me and we're going to get that done these are the things we need to get started with it so i'll be starting in just a minute so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take down this shade because i have to be able to get to the window we're going to take out these are called city lights my wife picked them out and I think they're going to be pretty, pretty nice looking. So, what I'm going to do the pretty standard stuff. They're just as the as the saying go, they're exactly what they advertised, right? So they are window film. And you can see they're not going to be big enough to cover the whole window. Which again. Why anyone would put this huge window into the bathroom over a tub? You got me. But you know, this was built in this house was built in 1999, so maybe that was the thing then. I don't know. So we're gonna measure this and see where it can go, right? And looks like that we can put it up in several pieces, right? So it's not a, the, the, the window is not a full piece window, right? So we're going to have to cut it to length, right? So we'll cut it for this first piece. Cut the next one to fit it. So basically, we'll cut this uh, this to length, and then we will cut it, uh, cut it out. We'll put the first piece in, and then we'll cut the next piece to fit in with it. And as you can see, um, the the pattern should fit together. Right, so we should be able to, to fit these patterns together um, in from one piece to the next. Right? So there's a little bit more to this than, than merely, um, you know, sticking it up. Right, we want it to look nice. We want it to match. We want it to be, you know, up there for a while so that uh, we don't have, you know, any issues with it. So I'm going to get out my cleaning kit and I'm going to clean the windows first. Hey y'all, this is Dean from Morgansoft. We ask you to please, please subscribe. Just hit the button and subscribe. So we've unwrapped the cleaning, the, the installation kit for the film uh, that was supplied or that we bought as part of the, the, the uh, clean film. And what we're going to do is we're going to Take this application solution or clean the clean the windows off. I don't really need to show you how to do that. I think you probably know how to clean windows. And then we're going to work on getting the film uh, measured and cut to size. A tip: I had a little bit of paint on the window, just a little bit from apparently the the, the, the 
people who put it in. So <clears throat> I took my scraper, I scraped it off. Now I've got to go back over and clean it. You want to make sure that all that your glass is completely clean, flat, and ready to accept the, the film because if it, there's anything on it, it will show us. What we're going to do now is we're going to measure each of the window panes. We're going to get an accurate measure that's 1 16th of an inch shorter on, on either end, meaning it's 1 8th of an inch in total uh, length. And we're going to leave that 1 16th of an inch. We're going to, when we put it up, we're going to leave a 16th of an inch on the edge. And that's per the manufacturer's recommendations so that it doesn't uh, wrinkle or have problems on the edge. So I know it's kind of old fashioned, but I'm going to take down the measurements on a piece of paper so that when I walk into the other room and you see me measuring it, I'll be able to look at those measurements. So we're going to stop this and we're going to move into the other room. And I'm going to cut the first pane, this pane up here, and get that one side on the left hand side on, get it put up just right, uh, just the way I want it, and then we'll move to the right hand side and get that put up just the way I want it, right? Um, <clears throat> that way I can be sure that I've got at least one pane that's looking good and it's put up correctly and I've discovered any issues I may have with the way I measured and or am putting it up. So one thing that we're going to do when we cut this out is we're going to try and use the straight edges that came from the factory for the left hand side and the bottom. And that way we know that at least two of the four sides are accurate and straight. Right? So I have a table here in my office uh, for rolling this out and, and cutting it. Um, and I've, as you can see, I've I've taken the liberty of putting a few books down to make sure that it lays out flat because it wants to roll up. And I might add, there are some of my favorite books. You can see Stephen King's The Stand, K.J. Parker, Devices and Desires, a trilogy, and Tom Clancy, Red Storm Rising. Comment if you like these books. And actually, we're going to probably use the entire width of this. <clears throat> And then we'll cut the other one to be uh, to, to match. Uh, it will have a smaller width on it. And so we're going to use the entire width of this, right? But we're going to cut it to length, but we're going to use the bottom of it right down here as the bottom of, of the, the item, right? So we're going to... Um, we're going to measure it for length and get it uh, get it cut out. I've got a straight edge here that I will be able to mark it with. Right, so the length. Okay, we're back, and I've got a framing square here. And what this is what this is used for is to make sure that we are we are square to the edge of the page. Right. And if we, if we square it against the edge of the page, check our line. Now, the manufacturer recommends using a straight edge, which we have. I'm going to move this over a little bit so you'll be able to see it. So we're going to use the straight edge and we're going to make this, this cut on the paper side. Now, the other thing that's, that's recommended by the, the manufacturer is that once you've cut this and you go to put it up, you should put some water with a little bit of soap in a spray bottle and spray the glass before you put this up. And the reason being is that it makes it easier to move around because once it gets stuck to the glass, you're not going to be able to move it, right? It's going to be on there pretty, pretty tight. So per the manufacturer's instructions, I'm going to wet this top piece down with some water and soap and then start to put this up. That will allow me to move it around a little bit before it gets firmly done and in place.
be generous with it because it can, uh, it has the need uh, to, uh, to stick. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to get the paper backing uh, soaked in water. So you want to, when you start peeling it, peel it a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to peel this away at the top. And then we're going to line it up at the top, okay, on the side. And we're going to put it in place. And we're gonna make sure that we are pulling this down. Again, you see how it comes, it, it comes loose, and that's okay. And we can move it. Uh, so we want to peel this down. Peel this, this, Backing off. And then we can, we should be able to move this around as needed to get it lined up while we want it. Because it's, again, the water is keeping it from sticking quite so, so hard. So we're going to pull it out. And then we're going to move it over a little bit. And we're going to start. So getting these bubbles out of it. And you'll notice that the water, as you, as you pull it down, the water comes out at the bottom. And that's what we want. We want to get it, all the bubbles out of it, get all the, all the water out, all of the water so that the spill will properly stick to the window. Right? Is this going to look good or what? Yeah, I think this is going to really look good when we, when we get it finished. Right? And nobody will be able to see in this big window ever again. Right? Or at least until we change the window out. And then hopefully we'll be putting in glass block here instead of, instead of window. Instead of straight normal window, right? So we want to make sure we've gone over this several times. Make sure to get all those bubbles out of there. You can get them, get them all that, that, that water out of there. Here is the final product. I think it looks really nice. Back up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. All right? I don't think we're gonna put the uh, shades back up. I think this will do just fine to block. Uh, everyone can see in our bad bedroom, uh, in our bathroom. And I think this is a project that came out well. Maybe you can do it at home. Hey y'all, this is Dean from Morgansoft. We ask you to please, please subscribe. Just hit the button and subscribe.